So how did this bike do at the TT? How was it? It was hard. Yes, yeah. it was really hard. The project was new. We we heard about the TT, how hard it is to go there, and that's why we went there. It's it's a challenge, and to show the bike that we can run. We start quite quite bad. We had a two engine failures in the first practice. All oh, right. And Anything major or? No, we seized the business okay. because the the track is so different. Yeah. We have 25 seconds full throttle and salvage yeah. straight. Never. You're asking so for trouble, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, and so ne you can't test this. And the project was new. Was we just came, just rushed with the TT, and then we was really like a wake up call. Yeah. We see tool engine and was like, okay, now, now we have to do something. So we play safe for the next practice and we improve day by day. We had, uh, unfortunately, we lost uh, the reed valve in the first lap of the superbike race on, right. on Saturday. And then we work again, went almost every day to Cherby Airfield. Right. And uh, on the senior, we made five laps because then they, they stopped because of red flag of yeah. the, the accident. And uh, finished the race and did 300 kilometers without any issue. And wow. at this, uh, we are honestly, even the position at the end is not that good, but it's not when, why we were there. We, we just want to show we can do. The, the, the laps we can do the race and this is what we did in the scene so what was the biggest thing you learned about the bike at the TT that this has nothing to do with shorts right okay it's completely different we went to Bruno with Ian uh, two weeks before the TT yeah. and he already told us let's try to set up the bike not for the Bruno race like, let's try to set up for TT let's do the best to start there and that's what we, what we did so we, we made the geometry stable, it's, it's what you use, and yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. TT bike, we just came straight from the TT so planted. and we give the bike to you and it's even, even on short track it's good. Yeah. But then we went there and the biggest issue was beside the engine calibration was the suspension. Right, because, uh, we because it was too stiff or? You need a compromise, right. you, need, you need grip of course, but you have all the bumps and jumps. Yeah, yeah. And uh, for the jumps, if the rebound is too fast, you kick it and then you, you saw the rider almost went Out over control, the front. Yeah, yeah. So you have to slow down this, but then you create other problems and you just try to find the best compromise of the suspension and geometry. With the geometry, we almost never touch. We started, we made one change in the gearing because we were too short, a little bit longer swing arm, and then we just kept it two weeks like this. Yeah. We play a lot by suspension. Spring, spring balance, preload, because it's, the track has a little bit of everything. Really, really flat out fast, and uh, like the last game before the start, yeah, yeah. so slow, so slippery. Yeah. He crashed in the qualifying uh, for the senior. The governors, was it? Uh, the the just, bridge, yeah, just before you go on to. Yeah, just uh, the right, down, left, yeah, and yeah. then you go to the, to the start of the finish yeah. line. And uh, there he crashed in the qualifying lap because we, we made everything fine for the rest of the track. It was on a 124 miles lap, wow. but not for this car. Did you expect to go and do that kind of pace as well? And that bike, like, I mean, it's, it's where you need to be, uh, you know, to, to be anywhere in the standings. Yeah. But did you expect to be there with that bike so soon? Mm, we, we, we hope that we can go somewhere between 123 and 125. Okay. And then we had the two engine failure in the first day, so then, okay, it will get hard. At the end, we, I think we did the 121.4, and we're so happy because it, it was so difficult to to do the job, and everybody gave give his best, like the Ian, his wife, it did the hospitality, you know, oh, the really? organization. Everyone got stuck We work in almost it. every night until at least two o'clock every night. Or, or four o'clock, wow. start at nine the next day and try really to do the best the best job we could do. Yeah. We, we improve over the two weeks and that's why everybody for the project we are really, really happy for them. Of course, we can discuss about the res result, but yeah. next year we, we go again. And so have you got, are you, you straight away you know how you can be running the suspension? So is it a, like a lighter spring you had to go to or with the suspension or? We, we started way too light too light yeah right. because we thought it has to be it's a light bike it has to be soft it has to be in the suspension it's what we thought we need and then we, we found out that for the TT slowly we, we came back to a normal short circuit suspension left spring wise damping is completely different yeah. damping is completely but 
spring wise we came more and more back stiff the faster he went the stiffer we had to go because you fully on, on um, Bray Hill on the bottom yeah, you yeah. fully bottom yeah, flat yeah. front and you need that support you need the support could you could you have um, got that support though just through changing the air gap so like putting more oil in you run a softer spring and but yeah. more oil yeah is that how you got around it uh, we went a uh, harder spring more preload right. also okay. uh, more oil harder different compression damping setting which is where on high speed is more hard but you open the bleed yeah it's well what, what do you do what do, what do you try but it's not so easy because one big problem is here you have a 4.5 kilometer track if we send him out it's 60 kilometers yeah yeah it's a long time minutes. till you see him again and, and it's a big risk yeah so for us for the first year we we want to improve we want to go fast forward but we don't want to risk yeah we can we can't risk him or the bike yeah so we we made it's always in between you make the step you make a big change on on suspension but how big the change is, is possible it is not dangerous because if if you make a change on the short track and it's not good the rider just come in after yeah left. and what, what about the prospect of running more than one rider next year do you think you'll keep it to one or maybe two or uh, five no 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 absolutely not. the maximum is two what we, we would really like to continue with Ian we are so excited and it's just a project with him and he helped us so much by by the TT itself, yeah, yeah. By, by his knowledge about the two strong bikes and uh, but I, for next year we try to go with a two ride, the second ride, the one ride and, and another ride because now also the, for next year for sure we have higher expectations in result. So we, we, we will win but the top 10 result should be possible. Now we have all the data, we have one year. We know what we have to do because when we came there, we, we just opened our eyes. We had yeah. no idea. When the first lap came back, when we saw the data, we were some kind of shock because in, on short circuits, we just never see something like that. No. So yeah, that's that's the plan. And okay. then for third year, of, of course, we try to be top three results. Good luck with it.